Good day friends, my name is Ruth and welcome to my channel, welcome to a new let's play of Oblivion. Now I did do a let's play of Oblivion a while ago, over a year ago actually, it was one of my first let's plays on the channel and it wasn't that great to be honest so I wanted to do a better one, which is why I'm doing it right now, I, I've completely remodded the game. Uh, I don't even know what I should say, I suck at starting let's plays to be honest. This game is amazing, I love it a lot, I modded it a lot. <laughs> And yeah, I don't have much to say. J let's just start the game. I tried recording this episode last week. My gr game broke. <laughs> it froze because of one mod and I had to remod it again. So I just wanted to start it. I was born 87 years ago. For 65 years, I've ruled as Tamriel's emperor. But for all these years, I've never been the ruler of my own dreams. I have seen the gates of oblivion, beyond which no waking eye may see. Behold, in darkness a doom sweeps the land. This is the 27th of last seed, the year of Akatosh 433. These are the closing days of the third era and the final hours of my life. And we're in the character creation menu. Now it's blurry right now because of the NB that I have. Only in the character creation menu is it blurry. So I don't want to turn off the depth of field, which makes it look this way when you create your character. So I'll just make her. And then I guess I'll show the character normally. Because in the menu, in the inventory, for instance, you can see your character normally and whatever. Just in this menu, uh, is it's blurry. So I'll make my character real quickly. Six and a half hours later. Okay, I made my character. Uh, I just googled random imperial names because I suck at naming my characters. Her name is going to be Lyra Florius. So you can't really see her face again because it's blurry. So I'll just press done. Yes, I want to be an imperial this time. She looks a bit different than the menu now that I can actually see her face, but I like it. I don't know. I want it. To give her black hair, you know, dark hair, but it looks really black right now because of the ENB I'm using. If I choose one of those pre-made presets, the color ones, it just looks white. Not white, but like very bright, just weird. So that's the only problem that I have. But other than that, I'm good to- oh my god, my sensitivity is too high. <laughs> uh, let me real quickly. Controls, ooh, why is it so- Sensitive though. Maybe I raised my DPI on accident. Oh, okay. Oh, oh, okay. We're getting a lot of stuff because of the patches and whatever that they have. So it looks really good. Uh, I chose an ENB that wouldn't make it too dark. Hopefully it will be like that. For now, at least I can see stuff in this cell. So that's great. Uh, let me quickly save. A quick save, just in case. Oh. An Imperial in the Imperial prison. I guess they don't play favorites, huh? Your own kinsmen think you're a piece of human trash. How sad. I bet the guards give you special treatment before the end. Oh, that's right. You're going to die in here, Imperial. You're going to die. 
Oh, Imperial how I criminal hate him. scum like you give the Empire a bad name, you see. You're an embarrassment. Best if you just disappear. Hey, you hear that? The guards are coming. For you. <laughs> I would love to kill him. I would. Usually I like playing as a dark elf and it's just... When he talks to you when you're a dark elf female, it's just anyway. <laughs> Hello there. I know it. Um, My job right now is to get you to safety. But yeah, as you can see, some of the What's hairs are like. What's doing here? You know, this set glowy. is supposed to be off limits. Usual mix up with the watch. I. Never mind. Get that gate open. Stand back, prisoner. We won't hesitate to kill you if you get in our way. It's funny you, how they say that. Stand aside. Over by the window. Stay out of the way and you won't get hurt. They say that yet if I stayed in this Prisoner, place, they would repeat the their door. sentence over, over and over again and they wouldn't now. do anything. Okay, I st stood over here. Jeez, don't have to be mad. No sign of Stay put, prisoner. Good, let's go. We're not out of this yet. Damn, you, Uriel. <laughs> I've seen you. Why is it every single time I'm out of living, face. Uriel looks like... <laughs> you are the one from my dreams. That's very bright hair. Then the stars were right. This is the day. Gods give me strength. Am I? Am I the one from your dreams? Anyway, what's going on? Assassins attacked my sons, and I am next. My blades are leading me out of the city along a secret escape route. By chance, the entrance to that escape route leads through your cell. I can't with his hairstyle. <laughs> Who are you? I am your emperor. Uriel Septim. By the grace of the gods, I serve Tamriel as her ruler. You are a citizen of Tamriel, and you too shall serve her in your own way. Why am I in jail? Perhaps the gods have placed you here so that we may meet. As for what you have done, it does not matter. That is not what you will be remembered for. I go my own way. So do we all. But what path can be avoided whose end is fixed by the almighty gods? I yes, worship Sithis, so I don't know about your gods. Better not close this one. There's no way to open it. Damn, the texture is worth the wall look like amazing, it. actually. Oh, it's dark here? Okay. Well, I mean, there's no real light source, so obviously. At least I can see where I'm going. Kind of. Hopefully y'all can see too. I do have another audio mod. Which Don't will make things a bit more I'm interesting. Watching. Didn't change the music though. Quiet, Obviously, I love Oblivion soundtrack so much. If I could have it on vinyl, I would. I would, Because it's just awesome. Oh! <laughs> he just Protect flew! Protect yourself. The captain's down. Should I even try? Okay. The magic is doing weird stuff, but are right, and my hands are a bit invisible, Captain so I might have to fix that later. But it's not really a problem right now. I'll take your hood. Oh, I can see. Um. Well, healing potion, awesome. Where is she? Oh, here we go. I will steal her torch. Let's see, let's favorite her katana for now. And a torch. Because that will be useful most definitely. Oh, there we go, oh, no, much better. Too late to go back now. Don't worry, Sai. We will get you out of here. They won't be the first to underestimate the blades. I'll take point. Let's move. You stay here, prisoner. Don't try to follow us. Now I'm going to be an assassin character because I just love being an assassin in Oblivion. Skyrim as well, but... Thread your fists? Uh, okay. For now we'll use a sword to get through this place. Or a bow. When will we get it, actually? But, um... I might make some poison out of this. I should probably find a night eye spell once I get out of prison, basically. 
because I do not want to be using Fin Gleam for the whole playthrough like I did last time. It's an amazing helmet. We will be getting it. <coughs> Obviously, because I want to collect the unique stuff. I'll try this time, actually, you know. Because there was a lot of stuff I missed in the last playthrough. And I ended it kind of abruptly, even though I finished a lot of it. Linens, really? Usually there's good stuff in the sack, kind of. So that's weird. Arrows, ooh, light armor. Nice, a dagger. Zero damage? Why is it so shitty? <laughs> I mean, I'll take all of this, though. Well, okay, this did not break, awesome. The lock picking. I remember saying when I started the Skyrim playthrough that I preferred Skyrim's lock picking thing. No. That's a lie. Oop, and I broke it on the very easy difficulty. Jeez. Oblivion's. Is, I guess it's a bit more realistic in a way, probably, no? Anyway, let's equip some armor. This and that. And maybe a hood for now. You know what? I'll do seven so that I could then equip it when I want to. Arrows and a bow. Maybe I should favor the healing spell as well. We have Voice of the Emperor, which is good. We can charm people. That's a very good power, actually. I looted you. Now I would love to use a bow, but I can barely see currently. <laughs> so, you know, a club. I'll take the potion and scrolls, which are not as expensive as the scrolls in Skyrim are. But I guess this is a, this is a bit more- What the hell just happened to my screen? That was kind of scary. Was that my head? Hmm? It wants me to practice casting spells. Okay. Let's send the flare to that rat. Oop. Well, well, it's powerful. That's for sure. I do actually like the audio mod. It's nice to have... I think I'll take this and I'll sell it. As long as I can carry it. You know. I think my uh, UI mod was interfering with stuff. That's why my game froze. I don't know. Because when I tried entering menus is when the game would freeze. So I'm gonna kill you. Oh god. By the way, I'm playing a normal difficulty, which would be, what, 50% of the thing where you choose your difficulty, the slider. So, I guess I'm doing pretty good for now. My blade increased. I don't have a, a different leveling mod. I thought I would play Oblivion, you know. How it was meant to be, but you know what I mean? There's a mod that I think I might want to install. Uh, it's an Oblivion Overhaul mask. Cars, Oblivion Overhaul, that's what it's called, I think. Last week I had it installed. I don't know if it... It probably wasn't the mod that broke my game. <laughs> probably. Okay, where is the rat? I know I can hear it. Oh. You are very glowy. Oh, it can't see me. I'll use my bow. Suddenly it's bright. I do like the bow sounds. Yeah, the sound overhaul definitely improves the game a little bit. It's just nice. Okay, we'll take the gold. Should I take the food? Oh, a shield. A helmet that I don't need because I wouldn't be using heavy armor at this playthrough. I guess I don't like being a warrior, specifically in the Elder Scrolls 4, you know what I mean? Skyrim is a bit different, although it is fun to be an assassin there, obviously. And now I can't see again. I have to use my sword. Come on. I know my magic is low. Thank you for telling me. Tutorial. I 
do we have here? Healing potion and lock picks, which are very useful. Until we get the skeleton key, obviously, but still, what's in here? Ale? There's always ale here. I, I do wonder what hid it there. A goblin, maybe? It's kind of dark in here. Even my torch is not helping, which is strange. <gasps> potions I guess the tutorial area in oblivion is pretty good because you get a lot of stuff well, I suck at picking ingredients apparently oh oh a cheese wedge <laughs> literally can't pick oh, I picked some stuff Should be a barrel over here. Calip you know what? I will take the calipers though. More of them, awesome. I know they will be. Oh, there was a torch as well. Uh, they will be useful for quests later on. So, oh, that goblin. I can see the goblin's head though. I do wonder why they're glowing. Probably because of the ENB. Because in the ENB page, it did say that certain hairs might glow in the dark or something but not always but the ENB in itself is very good so I don't really want to change it let's see it should be bearable I guess I probably will be doing some alchemy I'll try at least so I should just pick as up as much ingredients as I can okay we got a mortar and pestle let's try it out for the tutorial's sake, where is it? The alchemy thing? Okay, what can we make? Restore health. Can I make it? No. So let's remove that. Restore fatigue, maybe? Yes. And let's put a tomato in. Okay, can't do any more. I guess it's simple in Oblivion. Although Skyrim is simple as well. Ooh, we can make a damage health potion. Nice. Poison, I should say. Nice. We have a lot of them. Also, I guess a good way to make some gold. Alright. Nothing in here. There should be a goblin up ahead, though. Hello. You can see your face, like, it's so bright. Hell knows why, though. <laughs> Ah oh man, I wanted for it to get killed by the trap. Stupid thing. At least my blade is increasing. A bear pelt. Sure. Anything up here? Nope. Ah, now I remember what kind of mod I did not add, but I will probably add later. The health bar thing. Just to make it look the Ooh, that's a lot of arrows. 33? Nice, the health bar thing down there. I like it when it looks different, I guess. Doesn't matter as much. Oh, let's push this. Did it kill them? I think it did. It's funny how the dust looks very pixelated. I don't know if it's because of the game being old or a, a mod conflicting. Could be either. One of those. Maybe textures didn't load. All of them have lockpicks and stuff. Jeez, the goblins. What What do they do? Do they know how to use lockpicks? Oh, that's a lot of arrows. Awesome, I have a lot of them. How much do I have right now? 125? Nice. Potions. Okay. I guess I could... Although it does become a little bit brighter once I stop using my torch, which is nice. Okay. Might as well improve my archery a little bit and sneak. Oh no no. Okay. Do you have my arrows? A knife. Why is it carrying a random knife in its pocket? 
Hell knows. Quick save, I guess. Shoot this guy. Okay. Oh, I missed. Come on. Oh god, oh god. The goblins are annoying enemies actually when you think about it because they strike so fast. It's difficult to fight a lot of them at once, I think. Look, this my marksman is increasing. I could sneak around this one. I know there's a goblin over here somewhere. Oh, he saw me. No. Surprisingly, he's not doing a lot of damage to me. There's a, an error. Not an error, there's a glitch. In, in the. It's because of the NB, I know. But it's only in this area, if I remember correctly, because I was testing it out, so... Again, not much of a problem. Where are you? Jeez, I can't see him in the dark. One more shot? Okay. Oh, this my sneak is increasing. A roasted rat. I have a lot of rat meat in my inventory. Okay, let's try to get a sneak attack bonus on this guy. The shaman. Oh! Oh god, no. Oh god, no. Oh god, I forgot how to dodge spells. Oh god, oh hell no. Okay. We did it. What's in here? Oh, repair hammer. I forgot these existed. Skyrim doesn't have repair hammers, Oblivion does. And the followed games. At least three in New Vegas. <laughs> have repair stuff, right? Okay, another repair hammer, awesome. I should probably use it right now. And I broke both of them. I guess I'll have to buy more. Once I'm in the city, nothing here, we can just continue. And it's just over here. There's a lot of arrows. It's strange to me, because usually there wouldn't be as much. Let them deal with the Do they not I think see that was all of them. Let me take a look around. He doesn't see me? Have you seen the prisoner? Do you think she followed us? How could she? Like I would understand if I wasn't holding a huge Sign torch in my hat. Not yet. Let me rest a moment longer. Okay, I should go. Damn it, it's that prisoner. <laughs> <laughs> they didn't Kill see me. She might be working with the assassins. No, she is not one of them. She can help us. She must help us. As you wish, sire. Uriel looks like a Karen. They I'm cannot sorry. understand you know I mean. why I trust you. They've not seen what I've seen. You should speak to their manager. How can I explain? Listen, you know the nine, how they guide our fates with an invisible hand. I don't know. I don't think about it. I've served the Nine all my days, and I chart my course by the cycles of the heavens. The skies are marked with numberless sparks, each a fire, and every one a sign. I know these stars well, and I wonder, 
Which sign marked your birth? Ooh. I like always, I will choose the thief. I think it's one of the best signs in my opinion. The thief ability grants a 10 point bonus to your agility, speed and luck attributes. And I guess the warrior could also be good, 10 points to strength and endurance if you're a warrior character. Probably. Steed is awesome because you're super fast at the start, but like, I don't know. I will be the thief. The signs I read show the end of my path. My death, a necessary end, will come when it will come. By the way, I would love to get Uriel's dentist's number, cause like his teeth. What about me? Your stars are not mine. Today the thief shall guide your steps on the road to destiny. Can you see my fate? My dreams grant me no opinions of success. Their compass ventures not beyond the doors of death. But in your face I behold the sun's companion. The dawn of Akatosh's bright glory may banish the coming darkness. With such hope, and with the promise of your aid, my heart must be satisfied. Aren't you afraid to die? No trophies of my triumphs precede me, but I have lived well, and my ghost shall rest easy. Men are but flesh and blood. They know their doom, but not the hour. In this, I am blessed to see the hour of my death, to face my apportioned fate, then fall. Where are we going? I go to my grave. A tongue shriller than all the music calls me. You shall follow me yet for a while. Then we must part. Okay, Uriel. Oh, I should speak to you? One of them probably will want to speak to- why are they looking at bodies like- Yes, you killed these guys. Should I just talk to you? You may as well make yourself useful. Carry that torch and stick close. No. Tell me about the blades. We're the Emperor's bodyguards. Our job is to get him out of situations like this. Calm down, jeez. Although I admit, things are not going according to plan. Tell me about Ural Septum. My job is to make sure the Emperor gets out of here alive and I intend to do it. Okay. Good to know. Stick close and let us do our job, and you'll be all right. Not much farther. Yes, yes. First, I want to loot this chest. Watch your back, Forrest. Protect the for the Emperor. I'll just let them do it. Oh, they want to attack me? I mean, I won't do any damage to them, so they're too high leveled for me. I will loot their corpses, though. They do have some good potions. In my first playthrough of Oblivion that I did on this channel, I mean, when I was creating my class, I chose destruction, I will not be doing that this time, because it was useful, I get not useful, useless to me. Oh god, you're strong! At least I can raise my restoration this way. Oop, there should be another one over here. Oh! Stop it! When Uriel does more damage than you. He's a high level character. <laughs> What's in here? More potions? Awesome. I'm going to be overcumbered soon, and that's not good. Hold up. I don't like this. Let me take a look. Yeah, go ahead, be the first one. Don't die, please. Is there anything over here somewhere? A hidden chest, maybe? No. We're almost through to the sewers. Oh, oh, god. I'm jumping around the place like an idiot. I do wonder if I played in third person. I guess I don't become invisible, only in the first person view. 
But again, it's probably because of the, the gate is barred from the other side. A trap! What about that side passage back there? Worth a try. Let's go. Although right now my uh, it is a little bit invisible, but see through I should say. Well, where's the side passage? It's a dead end. What's your call, sir? They're behind us. Wait here, sire. Wait here with the Emperor. Guard him with your life. I'll Hold try. Glenray, you're fighting a wall. Oh, well, they came here. You we go All of them have such I can white go teeth. no further. You alone must stand against the Prince of Destruction and his mortal servants. He must not have the Amulet of Kings. Take the amulet. Give it to Joffrey. He alone knows where to find my last son. Find him and close shut the jaws of oblivion. Oh. You bad day. <laughs> I just love NPCs in oblivion. They're just on a different level. I can't, can't lose anything else. Um, are you okay, Boris? Failed. You failed. I failed. Yes. The blades are sworn to protect the Emperor, and now he and all his heirs are dead. The amulet. Where's the amulet of kings? It wasn't on the Emperor's body. The Emperor gave it to me. Strange. He saw something in you. Trusted you. They say it's the dragon blood that flows through the veins of every septum. They see more than lesser men. The Amulet of Kings is a sacred symbol of the Empire. Most people think of the Red Dragon crown, but that's just jewelry. The Amulet has power. Only a true heir of the blood can wear it, they say. He must have given it to you for a reason. Did he say why? Interesting how they talk about the crown, yet it doesn't exist in the game, you know? No model of the thing, uh, just, you know? Weird how they didn't add it. I don't know. I must take it to Joffrey. Joffrey? He said that? Why? There's another heir. Nothing I ever heard about. But Joffrey would be the one to know. He's the Grand Master of my order. Although you may not think so to meet him, he lives quietly as a monk at Wainan Priory, near the city of Coral. How do I get there? First, you need to get out of here. Through that door must be the entrance to the sewers, past the locked gate. That's where we were heading. It's a secret way out of the Imperial City. Or it was supposed to be secret. Here, you'll need this key for the last door into the sewers. The sewers? There are rats and goblins down there. But from what I've seen of you, I'm guessing you're an experienced monk. Am I right? Do I look like a monk to you? You must now choose your class. What I love is that you can create your class. Let's see... Which picture do I want to use for my class? The agent one, maybe? The assassin doesn't look as cool. I don't know, but it does. A bard? Let's just create a custom class. Stealth! Allows you to progress more quickly in these skills as you use them. Acrobatics, light armor, marksman, mercantile, security, sneak, and speechcraft. Yes, please. Choose your two favorite attributes. You will gain plus five to each one. Uh, I want... Agility. Affects your ability to maneuver and balance your total fatigue and damage done by bows. Governs the skills of security, sneak, and marksman. Now I don't know if I should choose speed to get athletics, light armor, and acro... Probably. Because strength is good, but only because of the blade. Because that's what I plan on using. I won't be using blunt or hand-to-hand, -hand probably, so... Although I guess personality could also be good. Anyway, let's choose agility and speed. And now our seven major skills. I will start off with armor. Maintain your weapons and armor. Top efficiency when weapons and armor are less effective. I must have because weapons do be breaking in this game a lot. So, Blade. Deliver the slashing and thrusting attacks of dagger and sword weapons more effectively. Marksman as well. Deliver more deadly ranged attacks with bow and arrow weapons. Sneak, pickpockets and move unseen and unheard by observers. Now security I probably won't be taken because I guess it's helpful but not as much. 
because it isn't that hard to, you know, uh, unlock stuff. Speechcraft could be good. Use your speech to persuade listeners to like and trust you. Allura story. How many do I have? One, two. I have four. I can choose three more. Block, maybe. I g oh, light armor is what I should take. Make more effective use of fur, leather, chainmail, mithril, elven, and glass armors. I guess let's choose maybe restoration. Cast spells to restore fortify or absorb physical and magical attributes, cure disease, and resist magical attacks. Although, you know what? Maybe I should choose illusion. I believe illusion is... Night eye or whatever that uh, night vision spell is is illusion, right? And I would be at level twenty five once I start, so I can technically use that spell then. Or is it mysticism? I need to check. Okay, it is illusion, so I will be taking illusion because I know it will be useful to me. And that is all I believe. Okay, adventure. I'm more of an assassin, but sure. Call me an adventure. Yes. I wasn't far off. In any case, rats and goblins won't give you any trouble. I basically made myself an assassin. He's like, you're a monk. It's the same. After the sewers, then what? You must get the amulet to Joffrey. Take no chances, but proceed to Wayne in Priory immediately. Got it? Yes. I understand. Good. The Emperor's trust was well placed. What about you? What will you do? I'll stay here to guard the Emperor's body and make sure no one follows you. You'd better get moving. May Talos guide you. I do By have the a way, question. thanks for recovering Captain Renault's sword. I'll see that it is given a place of honor in the halls of the blades. Like he's going to guard the body of the Emperor, right? Which I can't Leave loot. the Emperor in peace. No. <laughs> and like. Somebody should probably come and... Or is he going to drag the body? Because, like... Phones don't exist. How the hell will anybody know? I don't know. Let's just get the hell out of here. I'm so fast right now. What do we have in this chest? Potions. Okay, let's enter the sewers. Unearthing Mayrun's razor. Won't be doing that. Repairing the orrery. I mean, I will be doing it, but not now. Frost cracks, but I just have to wait for every single piece of DLC to activate. That all? Oh, Dumbarrow Cove. Okay, let's see. Can I see with my bow? First, I'll stop by a spell shop or something and just buy a night eye spell. Because I know I will be using it. Not so much for myself as for the, you know, video itself. Because I can see, I guess. Not as much as I would. Ooh, this looks nice. Sneak through the past the goblin because there is a goblin below me and I don't want to deal with it okay take this arrow I think that's all quick save and finally after around 40 minutes well a bit less probably we're out uh, this is what I wanted to press we can edit our raised birth sign in class, which is nice, but I won't be doing that. And finally, we're outside. I mean, it doesn't look as amazing as you would imagine, but I did as much as I could with this game. Let's see, the red arrow on your compass shows the direction of Wayne and Priory. You can walk there by following your compass or use your world map to travel there directly. Or you can set off in any direction and begin exploring the world in on your own. Good luck. Thank you, tutorial. Uh, ooh, the shadows look nice. Usually I would go to that alien ruin. 
Like it's the first place you go to get stuff. But I do have a lot of things and I don't want to be over encumbered instantly. So first of all, I am going to go to the market district. We will be fast traveling there right now. Um... I don't know. I probably will try not to do as much fast traveling. See, the thing is... Last week when I tried to edit my... Edit. Record. The first episode. It was a bit difficult without fast traveling. Because it started freezing around a bit. It shouldn't do that right now. But for the first few episodes, I would like to be safer, I guess. Oh. Oh, wow. Oh. The white gold tower looks... Awesome. I like the blue glowy things. Okay then. I would love to stop by the Mystic Emporium. Uh, fighting chances over here. I do have some weapons I might want to sell. Although first let's go to... Three Brothers. Let's go to Jensen's. I have a lot of junk that I don't need so I might as well sell it to her. Plus, I should persuade her to be more friendlier, you know, and haggle a bit. I do like doing that. Hello there, miss. You have an interesting Feel free hairstyle. to browse, friend. It's nice to see a new shopper. I was afraid I lost any hope of new business ever since Thorinir opened up. Thorinir, huh? First, let's Make become it quick. friends. Okay, just there's a lot of tutorial prompts. Let's start. What do you like? Coercion? And jokes, huh? I doubt you really mean that. I don't. That's pretty good. No more. <laughs> You're frightening me. Am don't I? be silly. No more. You're sure. Okay, so that's cute. Was that supposed to be a compliment? Maybe. Good one. You're I accept. I can't. I have no choice. That's a bit ex. Don't. Yeah. Well, okay, You're we're pathetic. going up. Pathetic. Yes. Yes. That's a bit ex. Not. Blah blah blah. <laughs> what a bore. Oh, this woman. Don't. Please. Not. Blah. Was that supposed to be a compliment? Yes. Yes. I'm not. Not. You're full okay, of. Okay, I maxed it out. You're good. Or so Only sell quality. your junk. Yes, yes. I would like to try selling it at half price. Half the price, you know, that they're worth, but... Um, this... Okay, she bought it. Buy That's more everything. Than... Can I press enter? No, that will not work. That seems Shil a fair price. Oh man, I wanted to keep the shield anyway. And I'll give you these things for literally a fine... nothing. Let's see, I'll keep the potions and poisons for now, because they're probably useful, but I will sell the scrolls chameleon. That's a good deal. And flash A good price. And the bear A fine pot. transaction. And these That's a good rubies. Deal. Could you stop commenting, woman, on every single item I sell you? That seems a fair price. Okay. Come back and see me again. So, tell me... Tell me about the Thorinir guy. I think you might be just the kind of person we're looking for. Perhaps you can assist us with the problem we're having here in the market district. Start from the beginning. I'm the chairperson for the Society of Concerned Merchants. We formed this group a while back to keep a nice, fair economic balance in town. Right. Not every store is a member, but we're slowly trying to convince them to join. Everything was fine until Thorinir opened his shop nearby. Selling all sorts of merchandise, he undercuts prices like you wouldn't believe. He doesn't always sell what we sell, but it is still a problem. People who buy tend to want to spend their money there. That leaves none for us. It's getting so bad, a few of us may have to close up shop. He outright refuses to join the society or even discuss the matter. We are convinced he's up to no good. What we need is for you to case his establishment and figure out where he gets his inventory. Find some proof of his wrongdoing and let us know. We cannot do it ourselves, as he recognizes all of us. 
The job pays a fair bounty in gold when he is brought to justice. Okay. Any rumors? The Imperial Watch seems awfully worried about the Grey Fox. Look at all those wanted posters. Mm -hmm. I do like the Grey Fox. Thanks again for your help. Let's just say I'm a fan of his. How much gold do I have? I didn't check. 200, huh? That's not a lot. Are there any repair hammers, perhaps? Yes. It's nice finding them in random. Crates and sacks and whatever. There's a little visual glitch once I enter an inventory. Like the screen blinks, so hopefully it won't be too... Wait, is it calipers and shit? No, it's calipers and tongs that I need, yes. Or calipers. I will be over encumbered by them soon. <laughs> Okay, I am looking for repair hammers. What the hell? I thought she was me. Like, How are you today? I'm prettier than you. Taller as well. Okay, more calipers. Awesome. Food. Gold. I just want to loot all of these. I like how nobody cares that I'm looting them though. You'd think this would be considered stealing. It's not. Eh, I guess I'm good. Who keeps literally an Hi. onion and a pear in a huge do? barrel? There's something yeah, anyway, I will quiver this, because I will need to use a sword sometimes. Now then we did get a side quest in friendly competition. I don't know if I want to be doing it right now. Although the reward is pretty good, should we? We can try. Unfriendly competition. A group calling themselves the Society of Concerned Merchants has hired me to investigate a new store that's just opened up in the market district with ridiculously low prices. They suspect the owner must be doing something illegal. I should pay a visit to Thoranir and the copious coin purse. Strange which is nearby. Norman. By the way, Miss... I heard she was climbing up the chapel uh, just so she could jump off. The spell, the main What's ingredients the over here. That's because over there, probably. I think we're in for some hard times. Yes. Have you ever well had met. a meal Edgar's at the discount bag. spells. Some of Imperial Commerce is where we could buy a house. Ah, the Mystic Emporium. Here. I want to buy an item. I sh the person should have it here, I checked. Because I forget. I know you can buy it in Anvil, I think, as well, maybe. You. Welcome to the Mystic Emporium. Calendil is here, with all your needs, under one roof. Look and buy. Nothing could be easier. Are you trying to manipulate me? It's working. What can I interest you in? How much does it cost? Do you have it? Eyes of Event, a night eye for 15 seconds. On s it costs 180. Let's become friends. Maybe we can have yes. it. What do you like? Coercion? And jokes? That's pretty good. You're a. Was that. Don't! Oh, okay. Please! I'm sorry! Yeah! I. You're. Was that. Whatever you want. That's pretty good. No more! You're. Was that. You're a big fat liar. Or oh, am I? Sure, that's don't that's a bit I accept. There we go. Alright, I get it. I offer the fight. Yes, yes. Fifty? At least it'll be a little cheaper. Five gold still something. Yes, nice. Thank you for your patronage. No problem. I really needed it, so let's favorite it. Um Do I have enough magicka though? I probably should for Bye. Yeah, I do. Okay, great. And I should use my repair hammer. Oh man. Oh man, I broke them. Don't have enough gold to... I mean, I have enough to buy one, probably. Let's, let's do the side quest. Make you, Maybe we can make some gold with it as well, so... Let's see, the copious coin purse is over here. Ooh, you look like a wizard. Probably is. So the first episode all obviously will be much longer than the other ones, probably. We shall see. Oh, you have interest. <laughs> what hair. kind of deal can I make for you today? I wanted to do more lore-friendly hair, but it looked kind of off, so this looked better. I don't know. 
First, let's Go persuade ahead. him like everybody else. What do you like? Coercion? Don't tell me jokes. Jokes as well. Don't try to manip... Sure, that's... Yes, yes, whatever you say. A good one. Yeah, not... Yes, yes, whatever you say. I doubt it. Sure, that's... Yeah. Don't try to manipulate The me. people here. Not Those. bad. I... Not... Yes, yes, whatever you say. That's not Imagine bad. Imagine if you're talking to a person, actually, and they're like, I don't... I can't. Tell me about your inventory. What about my inventory? Very nice selection. Th no, that probably won't do much. Where did you get it? Well, uh, that would be a trade secret. I can't divulge how I pass the great savings on to you now, can I? Why can't you? You could. Just like a baker not revealing his best recipes, I must keep my sources anonymous, or every merchant in town would use them. Suffice to say, they are quite reliable and low cost. That way, you walk out with a full coin purse. I see, you won't tell me anything, right? Our quest updated. Speaking to Thorner hasn't revealed any information since he's obviously hiding something. I should keep an eye on him and watch what he does after his shop closes. Goodbye. Which means Hope to see we're you going again to very save. soon. Walk outside and wait. He should close up at 7 p.m. I think, but since it's oblivion, we might have to wait till 10 p.m. Don't ask me why. It is loading, which means more people are spawning here or something like that. So he might be outside. Oh. Nah, he's still in his shop. One more hour? Okay, okay. You know what, let's try out now at night. Ooh! Nice, not too bright. I Can like I beg it. A favor of you? Can't see how long it works for. Wait a second, I want to check. 15 se- that's not a lot, I'll have to cast it often. Hey. Well, I'll get a better one what eventually. Good evening. Yeah, Might as well cast it around for now. Okay, he went into the thing. He usually stays there until 10 p.m. I, PM, I think, or 11. Let's see. I don't remember. Well, Thorinir, spawn. He's not spawning. One more hour? That man does not go to sleep, does he? Did I go inside and see? Oh god, it's, it's weird. Hi. A little bit blurry. Oh, he exited. Oh, and my spell deactivated. Oop. Oh, but the sky looks nice with it. I mean, I'll cast it around for now at least. Because, um, you know. Plus, I'll raise my illusion, which is nice. see a thing and I don't have enough magicka. Does use up a lot of my magicka. Let's hide in this bush. Of course, first edition is the only book this one. It's a fine place. This is the person I mentioned I got at this Where do I have to stand? That you, oh. Agamir? Shh, not so loud. How many times have I told you that? Sorry, I am not used to this kind of meeting. It always makes me nervous. Well, just shut up and listen. Okay, thank you, Shivering Isles. To me. The next shipment will be sooner than I expected. Just have the money ready. Same assortment of things? I mean, I have enough clothing for now. You take what I get. I get notice at the last second, and I have to jump on it. No time to be picky about it. Well, that society is putting more pressure on me, so maybe we better cut back for a while. You cut back now, and I'm going to take my business elsewhere. Or maybe pay a visit to that Jen scene and tell her about your little scheme. Fine. You made your point. Contact me when you have the items, and we'll meet again. Don't worry. It'll be very soon. Now get out of here. 
I have observed a meeting between Thornier and a mysterious man named Agrimir. Looks like my new target is Agrimir. I should follow him and see where he goes. And we will. I like how they didn't see me. Well, I mean, it is dark. I kind of know where Agrimir hey. lives. A. Hey. So, I'll follow him for a little bit and then I'll just sprint and steal stuff from him. Because that's what I do. How do you enter a door from that far away, Agrimir? Magic. Ooh. That looks awesome. Oh, this it looks even more awesome. When it's dark. Oh my god, it looks so awesome. Yo, I like it. Definitely looks unique. Don't know where the entrance to it is. Oh, oh there's only one door. Why did I think there was multiple doors? To enter the a. tower. A. You know. Damn, I like it. How is my illusion doing? Ah, it's getting up there. Yeah, magical will be one of those things I'll have to try to raise somehow. Because I'm assuming the more powerful spells will obviously give us more of it, so... See, this is where Fengleam is just very useful. Because, like, Night Eye is limitless, basically, you know? You can use it for however long you want. But the Detect Life is what kind of annoys me, because it's not nice to look at, you know? Okay, Speak. now... Oh my god, you're in my way. Let's run. A. A. Can't use it. Ha. I think he lives over here somewhere. I've discovered that Agramir has a house in Talos Plaza. I should go inside when he's not around and investigate. And we have to do this real quickly. Quick save and enter. Hopefully no nobody saw me do this, because I didn't check. Come on. God damn it. There we go. Oh, it's so blurry. Okay, it's not blurry anymore. What can I steal? Can't sell stolen stuff right now, so it's... Shouldn't probably be taking it. Let's go into his basement. Doing pretty good at lock picking for now, kind of. Okay, what do you have in your basement, Agrimir? Let's see your dirty secrets. How do I equip my torch? Was it eight? I found my way into Agrimir's basement. The place consists of an odd assortment of clothing and trinkets. Most disturbing is the dirty shovel and mud-encrusted boots tucked into the corner, and the bits of ground bone meal strewn about. I suspect Agramir's stock he sells to Thoranir is taken from the recently dead. I should continue to search carefully for more solid evidence into this grisly accusation. Okay, ooh, there's even... Blood. Does he take bodies over here as well? You know, since there's blood. Obviously has skulls. The Macabre Manifest. I found a manifest that seems to detail names of the recently deceased, where they were buried with and their locations in Cyrodiil. I should take this Macabre Manifest and confront Thoranir, as he may not realize where his merchandise is coming from. Fredellus Wagarian. Kassir Chaydenha. Oh, he goes to a lot of different uh, cities. <laughs> Okay, well, we took it. Don't need the shovel, I guess, huh? Let's leave. Play Agrimir will not be in the house. I hear him. Oh, my sneaking crystal. Run! Lyra! I almost called her Freya. <laughs> guess I'm so used to her. Okay. 
I think you have I will wait. Oh no, the shop's open at 9 a.m. I Is think. It, citizen? Nothing. Nothing guard. Okay, it's bright and sunny outside. Damn, the tower looks so good. I'm seriously impressed with it. She jumps like a toad. <laughs> That's the best conversation. I wonder what she does. She jumps like a toad. <laughs> It's her hobby. Welcome back. What she does in her free time. Your inventory is taken from the dead. I can't believe what I'm seeing in this book. I'm mortified to think these things here were once on the bodies of the recently deceased. It's just too horrible to comprehend. I don't even know what to say. I, I guess an apology is not enough. What can I do? Help me catch Agramir. Yes, that's the least I can do. First and foremost, I will never meet with him again. I can promise you that. Secondly, I remember him mentioning a place he had to be this very day. Hmm. Yes, that's right. He said that he wouldn't be able to do anything else, as he had something important to do. You don't think he would dig up another... Oh, no, he wouldn't. He would. But I guess he has been. Oh, my. What have I done? And probably wasn't even washed. Ugh. Don't worry, I'll stop him. Yes, you do that. And in the meantime, I'll decide what to do with all these ill-gotten things. I'm so sorry. Okay. I hope you can forgive Let's me. Let's go stop. I, I mean, I why? I wanted to say why would I forgive him, but like I don't feel nothing towards him. I mean, it's awful what they did, but he didn't know it, so he's not really at fault for that. Well, he should have guessed probably that something... Oh, God, it looks so amazing. That something was off for all this stuff being so cheap. You know what I mean? Anyway, let's go and deal with him. Finally. Where is he? Probably... I've noticed that the door to the Trenchius family mausoleum has been unsealed. This must be Agramir's doing. I should proceed inside. And I will. I'll save into a normal save file, though. Ready my sword. Don't have a shield. Probably should ready a healing spell. Let's go inside. Well, Agramir... I've located Agramir inside the Trenchius family mausoleum. It appears as though he's attempting to desecrate another grave along with someone else I don't recognize. I need to convince him to stop this highness act. Will that be possible though? Agramir, let's talk for your beard. I have a feeling you'd catch on sooner or later. That's why I had this trap prepared for you. If you'll notice, the grave is already dug. This time, it wasn't to take something away from the graveyard. It was to add something. I'm afraid all I can offer you is an unmarked grave. You really believe in yourself, huh? Oh, God. Heal. Lyra, heal. Oh, God. You have potions. Come on, die! Kill Agramir. Agramir has been slain. Since the penalty for grave robbing is death, it somehow seems as though justice has been done. I should search the gravesite for anything potentially incriminating. Okay, first I have to deal with Rolger. Right? Roll girl, that name. Doesn't sound very Nordic, though. They just molded into one being as they fell onto one another. The debaser, a blade, one-handed. Drain willpower and endurance, five points for 20 seconds on strike. Awesome. We'll be stealing that as long as, as well as his keys. And this guy. I'll take his Keras and Greaves. You know what, I'll take his whole armor set and just sell it. Maybe the sword as well since I can carry it. <laughs> and now he's naked. Only in his undergarments. His shovel is what I need. 
I've acquired Agramir's shovel still damp with the fresh earth of the open grave. This is the final bit of proof I need of Agramir's crime, so I should bring it back to Thorinir. That is all. Should I equip the debaser? It is currently the best sword I have. Let's do that. Looks nice. Very unique. Awesome. I have a soul gem. It does have a petty soul, so... I can use that to refill it when I need to. Once at least. Um, we'll have to check out how to get Zora Star, I guess, later. Probably soul trap spell as well would be useful. You know? Okay. We're in the market district. First let's go to Thorinir and then I think we might have to go to change scene. Who will help an old beggar? Who will help an old beggar? And then you talk to her and she switches her accent from like British... Not really British, I guess, but you know, the accent that she has. The beggar accent in Oblivion. To an American accent, basically, or something like that. Which is weird, but... Were you able to stop Agamir? I killed him, and yes, here's his shovel. Then we can at last rest. I feared had he somehow bested you, I'd be next. It is fortunate that your skills exceeded his. I've come to some decisions. I intend to donate all of the money I have made, as well as what is left of these stolen items, to the temple. I also want you to know that I had a long discussion with Jen Seen, and I have decided to join the society. Awesome. I realize you risked your life to give me a chance, and Thorinir never forgets things like that. Accept this ring as a humble reward. It's the least I can do to say thank you. Now, don't be a stranger. The copious coin purse is still in business. Are you still selling the same stuff? Whether you we're circlet added. He was saying something, but... Resist fire and frost, 10% on salt. Not bad against, uh, against spells, right? Own me mercy. It is good to see you again. I can sell him myself. I offer the finest goods and lowest prices in all Cyrodiil. Let's see, can I sell at 50% of their price, though? Will you accept? Let's see, the long sword. You've made a good bit of gold. Uh, I guess I'll... I should probably keep the steel short sword, because I, if I remember correctly... Can I repair? I can't repair enchanted items. Since I'm too low leveled in the armor skill. You've made a good... So I'll keep that just in case I need to switch. A good price for a good customer. What else would you like to buy? Nothing. Come back and see me again. I will. Let's quickly go to Jim. You've Seal. shown me mercy. Yeah, you best not forget that I did that and buy my stuff at very expensive prices. This way, I'm lost. Uh, over here. I have been anxiously awaiting your return. Oh, have you? Which should I ask her, though? This? Well done! This shovel will certainly confirm Agarmir's crimes. Along with the manifest, it should prove useful to the City Watch. In your absence, Thornir visited and we spoke at length about his role in this scheme. I believe him when he says he didn't know Agarmir's sources. He told me of his intentions to donate all of the money and inventory to the local temple. He also agreed to buy and sell merchandise at fair prices. Last but not least, he's officially joined the society. I am taken aback by his honest intentions. In return, the society has decided not to press charges. His name will be absconded from the records of this crime. Now... I'm sure you are waiting to hear about your reward. The society thanks you for everything you have done. Please, take this gold. Many thanks on behalf of all of us. How much did she give? A hundred? I mean, if I was higher leveled, she would give me more. It's one of those leveled quests. But at least it's something, you know? I can it's buy repair hammers pleasure. now. Which I shall do. 
Ah, a bit later, I guess I can do it off camera because I have to persuade her and I don't want to do that. Anyway, I will be ending the episode here. How do I... Is it toggle free camera? One? Oh, she jumped. Okay. Okay, then. I will be ending the episode here, then. It's interesting how the game didn't pause when I did it. Does one do nothing? Anyway, I will be ending the episode here. I do hope you enjoy this new playthrough of the game. I really love Oblivion. It's just nice to be back, you know? It's an amazing game. So, yes, we just did the tutorial today and we helped out Jensen and Thorinir. So that's nice. Got a unique weapon as well. So in the next episode, we might join the Dark Brotherhood, probably, because that's what I like doing at the beginning. We shall see. Maybe the Thieves' Guild as well. Might switch around, you know? Uh, we'll see. So yeah, if you like the video, please like and subscribe. Consider following me on my social media somewhere on the screen or in the description below. Would appreciate it a lot, and I shall see you all in the next episode of Mass Effect, probably, because it's on Monday and it's the one that will come out soonest, right? Anyway, hope you have a great day. Goodbye. Mm -hmm.